6 o'clock in the morning. I just got up because I've got to teach online. Actually, my husband is already working as well because the plan is to work in the morning and to be able to enjoy a little bit of Saigon. Well, I'm going to teach some classes and after that, I want to show you my apartment because it's very beautiful. I told you that yesterday that I wanted to show you my apartment. And then let's have a walk in the BC Saigon. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. I just finished working. I just finished teaching Spanish. And I'm about to have some breakfast. And also, I want to show you a day in Ho Chi Minh City. So this is, a, this is going to be a normal day. What's a normal day like in Ho Chi Minh City? First of all, I'm going out there. I'm going to find some juice to have some breakfast. But uh, I need to get changed because I'm still wearing my pyjamas. I'm very lucky because just outside of my apartment I've got uh, a lady, a street food stall that is selling uh, orange juice and sugar cane juice which is very very tasty here. It's basically sugar cane that is extracted from pressed cane and it's very tasty, very natural, very sugary and in some places they add lime so let's, let's go with the lady. Xin chào, welcome. Ở đâu? À, không được. Ở đó một ít và một nước mía. Okay, I just order one orange juice. You need to be careful because they add a lot of sugar. I don't like with sugar because orange is already contains sugar already. And also I order the sugar cane. This is the machine that they use to press the cane so that they extract the sugar cane juice. How much do you Okay. We decided that we should try one of the amazing breakfasts that Vietnam offers, so we're going to eat pho bò, which is, I think, the most popular uh, dish meal in Vietnam and also because we're about to leave Vietnam so we need to enjoy all the amazing food oh look at this looks really really great and of course we've got a lot of herbs here it's a big big bowl I don't even know if I'm going to finish this It's been a while since I ate pho bò. Here we are in the state one and we are going to pay 50,000 which is around two dollars. But in Hanoi, which actually pho bò is more common in Hanoi, in, in the north of Vietnam, we used to pay 30,000 more or less on average. I don't know if it's because we are in the most popular part of uh, Ho Chi Minh City or it's just because Ho Chi Minh City is a little bit more expensive. But let's try. Very tasty. Mm. Mm. I just finished my job and I'm very excited to go out and to eat and to see the street food stalls, the, everything, the people, to be surrounded by the motorbikes after being under quarantine. This feels just great. We are located in District 1, which is the busiest district in Saigon, or Ho Chi Minh City, because this is the center of Saigon, which means the majority of the spots that you've got to see when you come to Saigon are located here. I'm kind of sad for living in Vietnam, of course. After living a year, I'm gonna miss a lot of things about Vietnam, but I hope you enjoy this trip with me in Saigon. All right, let me show you a little bit of our studio, the studio that we rented in Central Saigon. 
it's very central actually we've got the Bouvian street very close from here it's a 10 minute walk away from here so it's very comfortable and you've got a lot of street food stalls around here but still it's very quiet for this studio we're paying 20 dollars per night which i consider is a very fair price it seems everything is new so let me show you a little bit of it. What I like about this studio is that we've got the balcony over there. A pretty big balcony. And this is our street. It's kind of an alley. It's not very noisy. It's just perfect. This is our breakfast bar. We are using it to work and to teach online. One thing that I noticed immediately is that Saigon has a lot of places to eat. What you want to eat can be found there. As Hanoi, there are lots of cafes that invite you to come in and honestly, they are beautiful. Perfect place to wait for the rain to stop in this rainy season. It's 6 o'clock in the afternoon and we're about to take the water bus here in Ho Chi Minh City which is a great idea because you can go to all the districts here in Ho Chi Minh City and at the same time you're enjoying a great view. The most interesting part is that I just paid 15,000 doms which is 50 cents. 60 cents, 60 cents. tallest building in Vietnam. It was definitely worth it to pay 15,000 doms. Wow, I'm totally surprised. I mean, Nguyen Hue Street or the walking street and there's a lot of people working here, a lot of restaurants, bars, a lot of skyscrapers it's it's very modern i can see why a lot of foreigners say saigon is quite modern compared to uh, hanoi for me it has a more western appearance as these are my last days in vietnam I've decided that I've got to take advantage of all the amazing food, not only Vietnamese, but Korean, Japanese, Thailand, Thai, <laughs> Thai food. <laughs> I really think that kind of food is very authentic here. Tonight, we're going to eat Vietnamese food. We just order Vietnamese food. We don't even know how to call this amazing soup. And also, we order some okra with prawns. So let's eat. After living in Hanoi for a year, I found this city not as traditional as Hanoi, but still full of wonders and places to spend a few days. The city is quite busy and full of traffic, but it's not different to Hanoi in that aspect. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a like, hit the bell so you'll know every time I release a new video. If you'd like to support this channel, I've got a Patreon page. I'm going to be uploading more content there, behind scenes and more information about my last days in Vietnam. I want to get to know you more. See you in the next video.